The universe is literally invested in your enlightenment. To say the universe is invested in your enlightenment is the same thing as saying the universe is invested in your self-actualization. Light means understanding. So to say that the universe is invested in your enlightenment means it's invested in your total understanding of who you are. Who you are is an idea in the mind of God. Who you are is an idea in the mind of God. The mind of God is love. Therefore, you are literally a thought of love. And being on this planet is moment by moment by moment an opportunity and often a challenge to remember who we are, to express on earth as it is in heaven. You are the thought of love in the mind of God. What God creates is changeless and unalterable. So that truth about you never changes. The issue in life is not whether or not you are a perfect, loving creation of God. That's set. The issue is whether or not that's what you're going to express in the world. So think of the truth of who you are like a file in a computer, and it is an undeletable file. That's who you are, and that's who everyone is. The issue is that we've been so confused living in this world and we've been so trained to think that we are who we aren't and to think that we aren't who we are that often, instead of being conscious, instead of consciously choosing to express our love, we move into a tightened place, we move into a constricted place and we move into judgment, we move into attack and we move into defensiveness. Only love is real. What is all-encompassing can have no opposite. So that means that when we're thinking without love, we're actually not thinking, we're hallucinating. And that's what the ego is. The ego is a false belief about who we are and a false belief about who other people are. When you realize who you really are, you also realize who other people are. All you are is love inside the mind of God. And that's all who other people are as well. So you've heard the line, there is only one begotten Son. From an esoteric metaphysical perspective, to say there is only one begotten Son means we're all it. So the Course in Miracles says you're like waves in the ocean, thinking you're separate from other waves. You're like sunbeams to the sun, thinking you're separate from other sunbeams. But really, there is no place where one wave stops and another starts. There really is no place where one sunbeam stops and another starts. But think about the psychological and emotional difference produced by those two differing ways of looking at the world. If I think of myself as one wave and there's an ocean and I'm surrounded by all these other waves from which I am disconnected, how can I not feel terrified of those other waves? How can I not be afraid that in any given moment my being will be obliterated, my being will be annihilated because of the power of the ocean that's going to come over me? But if, on the other hand, I think I'm connected with every other wave, this is one of us here, I'm connected with every other wave, I'm part of the ocean, then I feel at home in this universe. This is extremely important. When I think of myself as one with everyone, I can feel at home here. When I think of myself as separate from other people, I cannot feel at home. And then I really am tempted to mess up relationships because I'm trying to get other people to either like me or other people to act a certain way so I can feel at home. But my even wanting them to do that is based on the idea that I don't realize I am home. Mm -hmm.